right, the next example is all involved the chain rule. And what you'll notice about the chain rule, uh, is that the outside function doesn't matter which variable you're looking at. All right, so this function is the chain rule. I've got my group, 3x squared y plus 5x raised to the power 3 halves. All right, so the power 3 halves is on the outside, the polynomial part's on the inside. All right, so the derivative with respect to x, well, remember the power rule is I pull the power out front, so 3 halves, leave the group the same, raise it to one degree less. So three halves minus one is going to be raised to the positive one half. But I'm not done yet. That's the derivative of the outside. So notice the outside didn't care, uh, didn't have anything to do with the variable part. Now the inside does matter. Now I'm taking the derivative of the inside with respect to x. And so it's the x values I'm looking at. So in the first term, I've got my 3x squared y. So 3 and y are going to come along. I take the derivative of the x squared, right? That's the part that's changing. Well, the derivative of x squared is 2x. And then plus the derivative of 5x, which is 5. And then if I rewrite this as 6, 6xy, or my x. All right, and so that's the derivative of that function with respect to x. And again, where that came from, well, I erased it, but this came from the fact that 3y came along. I took the derivative of x, which was 2x. And so you multiply the 2x times the 3 to get the 6x, and then the y comes along. All right, so there's the derivative with respect to x. Now the derivative with respect to y. Well, the first part's exactly the same. The outside function, it doesn't matter if I'm looking at x or y, it changes the same way. It has the same derivative. It's 3x squared times the stuff inside raised to the one half. Where it matters which variable I'm looking at is when I take the derivative of the inside, because it's the inside part where the variables are. And so the only function that has a y on it is the first one, right? 5x does not, so the derivative of 5x, there's no change when I'm changing y, so it's zeros away. And so I take the derivative of 3x squared y, well the 3x squared comes along, and the y is just 1, right? The derivative of y is just 1, and we don't typically write that down, so it's just 3x squared. And there's the derivative of that function with respect to y. All right, the second example. g of xy, e raised to the x squared, y squared minus 6y. And so again, chain rule. I get e to the x squared minus 6y, so first with respect to x. Well, the first part is the outside part is the e. The inside part is the x squared, y squared minus 6y. And so the first thing you write, the derivative of the e is the e. Right? So I write that function exactly the same as is. I don't change a thing about it. All right, e to that function. Then separately, we multiply by the derivative of the inside. Now it matters which variable I'm looking at. So I'm looking at x. Well, the only x part of the inside is the x squared, right? The y squared and the 6y, there's no x part, so those zero out. And so I only multiply by the derivative of x squared, so I'm going to multiply by a 2x. And so there's the derivative of that function with respect to x. Now with respect to y. Right, the first part's exactly the same, right? The e function changes the exact same. The part that changes is the second part, right? The outside function is not affected by either variable. It's the same, right? The e is exactly the same whether I'm looking at x or y. The part that matters is the chain part, the second half, right? What's the derivative of the inside? How is the inside function being affected? That's the part where the x and the y's are. And so when I look at it with respect to y, well, there are two y parts. There's the y squared and there's the negative 6y. The x squared zero is away, no y. And so I take the derivative of y squared, so I get a 2y, and the derivative of negative 6y gives me out negative 6. And so there's the derivative with respect to y. All right, and so that's the chain rule. I'm going to go ahead and, since those didn't take me that long to do, I'm going to go ahead and do the next example. Uh, the next example isn't the chain rule, um, but I'm just going to go ahead and do it in this video since I didn't think it took me that long to do the previous cases. All right, so the derivative of this function with respect to x, so every single term has an x in it, so I take the derivative of every single term with respect to x. So 4x cubed is going to give me a 12x to the second. 
minus the 5 comes along, the y squared comes along. The derivative of the x part is just 1, so it's just 5x squared times 1. So I'm just going to leave it 5x squared. Plus, well, y to the fourth comes along as a constant. The only part I'm taking the derivative of is the x cubed, right? So the x cubed is going to give me out 3x squared, and then the y to the fourth comes along. And you can write it the other way is fine. Um, I, I like to have my x terms first and then my y terms, but if you wrote it the other way, like this, y to the fourth times 3x squared, that would be fine too. Plus e to the 2x, well e to the 2x is e to the 2x times 2, All right? And there's the derivative with respect to x. Now the derivative with respect to y, which is a little easier. There are only two y parts, All right? No y part, no y part, zeros out. And so I only have to take the derivative of two pieces. All right, the first piece is the negative 5xy squared. So the negative 5 and the x comes along. I take the derivative of y, which is the y squared part, which is 2y. That's how it changes. Plus, well, the x squared, or sorry, the x cubed comes along. I take the derivative of y to the fourth, which is y, 4 times y cubed. And then I will clean this one up because it's just proper to write this out as negative 10xy. And then we like to have the constant out front, so 4x cubed y cubed would be the derivative of that one. Alright, we'll go ahead and stop there. I'll do the last two examples in my last video.